In the early hours of the morning of February 1st, uh, the military detained a number of elected leaders uh, of the National League for Democracy, uh, as well as civil society activists who had organized protests and um, uh, movements uh, in the past. They also took control over uh, TV stations and the telecommunications sector to control the flow of information and shut down the internet temporarily to slow the uh, pace of this news getting out and control the messaging. I think that it's fair to say that the generals thought the experiment with democracy went too far. Um, I, I think more precisely, the generals wanted to uh, be in a position to control which party represented their interests in parliament. The USDP party, which they had hoped would win, uh, which was largely filled by retired military officers, uh, did terribly in the election and was trounced by Aung San Suu Kyi's party, the National League for Democracy, uh, in both the 2015 and 2020 elections. Um, and another factor motivating uh, specifically this uh, commander-in-chief, Min Aung Hlaing's uh, decision to launch the coup was undoubtedly his own personal ambition for the position of president, uh, to which he had no path separate from uh, taking over power forcefully. Uh, his retirement age was coming up in July, and uh, without the USDP in power, it's unclear how he would have retired to a civilian rank to contest the uh, presidential position. The generals designed the 2008 constitution specifically to enshrine their continued positions in power and control over the economy. They continued to retain control over the economy, but they slowly lost control of the parliament the way they had anticipated um, they would hold on to power through the USDP proxy party they established. Uh, when that party was losing popularity and was uh, clearly set to lose in the 2020 election, the military was sort of in collective denial and uh, essentially went ahead with the elections because um, the way the constitution was written uh, held for, con uh, for multi-party elections every five years. Uh, the military is very insular and had convinced itself that its chances of winning the election were actually much higher than realistic. So when it did poorly in the 2020 election, uh, they resorted to claims of electoral fraud, uh, claiming there were issues with the voter lists and um, had built up this rhetoric to call into question the results of the 2020 election, which really did not favor them at all.